Hi guys, it's Kira. Welcome back to my Burst Coin Mining Farm. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the external hard drives that I use. These are Seagate Expansion 8TB. Um, they are my go-to drive just because of their price point. Uh, but now I think I like them a little bit more. Um, so, as you can see, they are encapsulated in plastic. And um, that means that they're not going to radiate heat as, as well as, say, the lacy drives, which are, have an aluminum top. Um, so heat was definitely an issue using these drives, but I think I have a solution. Um, as you probably might know from my video about my rig, which is uh, right here behind me, um, I changed around the hard drives uh, so that I could get more hard drives in this space. So you can see that <clears throat> I've got the hard drives lined up very close to each other, but on average, not on average, they're running cooler. They're running like 10 Celsius cooler than they were before. And so I wanted to talk about how I did that. So they're grouped here on the rack in groups of three, and then the ones in the middle that are two and two, that's a group of four. Um, but behind those hard drives is a fan. And what I've done is I kind of taken advantage of the design of the Seagate cases. Um, so if you look at this drive, <coughs> you can see it's got this grate here. <coughs> and this is actually how the drive is venting. And there's also one on the bottom. And this one on the bottom is uh, right next to the uh, pins and stuff. But what I did when I was looking at this and trying to come up with a solution for the heating problem was, how do I take advantage of this case uh, while still going for um, the vertical vertical arrangement of the hard drives that I was planning on to increase the density of the uh, rack. So uh, the solution that I came up with was to put basically three drives together and I actually zip tied them together because uh, I live in an area where there are earthquakes sometimes. And I don't want the rig to fall apart during a strong earthquake. Um, that says nothing about this precarious little thing here behind me. This is my plotter. Uh, but anyway, that, that's another story. Um, so what I did was I took three drives and I put them together as if tied them. And then using the rack, I um, took a 120 millimeter uh, fan. And this is a uh, 12 volt fan. Uh, this is a Cooler Master. This is the one that was on special. They were being sold in packs of four for 12 bucks, something like that. It'll be in the description, guys. Uh, anyway, so I took this fan and I put the uh, blow side against the plastic grate here on the back of the drives. And I plugged this in and uh, yeah, that means that the air is going here going into the hole in the back of the drive and now it has to go out the only place that it can try to go out which is the uh, other holes on the bottom of the drive so it actually uh, does get air through the case and against the hard drive and then away from the hard drive in a direction that makes sense looking at crystal disk info uh, which is uh, a disk uh, analysis tool that reads the smart data from the drives. Um, you can see how uh, the temperature was fluctuating with the day and this was with the 40 watt big fan on the rig um, and you can actually see where I turned it off to film a video uh, but as soon as I turned the rig back on after um, doing my fan upgrade uh, you can see the substantial drop in temperature. It's just insane. If we take the high here, which is 33 Celsius, and compare it to the high here, which is 49, um, that's a 16 point drop <laughs> in the temperature. It's just crazy. I did not expect it to drop this much. And it's been consistently low. Um, this temperature is about 12, 12 degrees Celsius over the environmental temperature. So I'd say this is pretty darn good. 
Uh, I mean, it can't match this S the bare SSD that's sitting on the rack, which is down here, but hey, I'm happy with this. So there you have it, guys. That's how I cool down my Seagates. Um, it's really simple, and it's pretty cheap. Uh, I mean, each of these is three bucks. Uh, and I know that these drives can go up to theoretically 50, 60 degrees Celsius without any damage, but if I'm putting in thousands of dollars onto this rig, uh, I want it to stick around for a while. And I know the Seagates have had issues with their durability over the long term, so if I can uh, maybe improve their lifespan by giving them better cooling, I'm totally going to do it. Uh, I really like these drives. They are at an amazing price. They're $150. Today, actually, uh, I know there's a deal um, with Newegg. I think you can get them for 140 which is just really cheap for eight terabytes. And I know they're SMRs and they plot, the plotting just takes forever. It takes 10 days on these with my Ryzen system. Uh, and that's without doing anything special. I mean, I could use Turbo Plotter or something like that, but you know, whatever. I've got so many drives to plot. If they just plot at a consistent speed, I'm happy. So <clears throat> yeah, that's my story. Uh, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about um, how maybe you can cool your externals better. Uh, this fan idea is the best I've got and it's implemented on my rig. I've got 10 fans set up this way and I am looking forward to keeping my rig cool while looking cool and that's the name of the game. So if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe and maybe throw me some burst too. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing any, any of these components, use my links down in the description. Uh, you'll help me out and you'll get some great hardware. Okay, see you guys next time.